You mentioned the divorce culture, and I think that that's right on what we have. I say to all of us who are married and and really chugging through and pushing through, we have to remind ourselves when we get annoyed, because we all will, number one, what is our partner putting up with with us? Because we're also a handful. (laughs) And we sometimes get so stuck on what they're doing wrong that we don't see the bigger picture. The second thing we need to know is that every couple goes through little power struggles or big power struggles. And anyone who's pushed through to true love knows that the secret is accept and allow, accepting him or her, allowing them to be who they are. And when we get to this place inside of ourselves of accept and allow, those annoying things become less annoying. It's just, okay, he's also putting up with me, she's putting up with me, and all right, these are things that I need to accept and allow. And when we allow things to be and we let go, we're able to push through to a whole other level. I'm not saying we do this in one shot. It's a process, but that's the goal and the thinking process that we need to be shooting for. That is so amazing. Accept and allow. That that says it all, doesn't it? It's big. <laughs> it's big because the word allow, it just means let go. And when we let go of the things that are bugging us and we let go of trying to change our spouse, we let him or her be who they are. And something really special happens in a relationship that is a real shift. Because that's what we all want. We want to be allowed to be who we are. The word allow is almost better than forgive, because forgive has all this baggage, it seems to me. But allow is acceptable. <laughs> that's right. Look, I'm not talking about, you know, like crazy allowing, you know, abuse and things like that. No, I mean, no, there's no. obviously we're talking about normal stuff that we all have to put up with. And allow means let go and, and just let, it, let him or her be who they are. And when we are in flow of who we are, that's really when we're, we're more open to change and growth. The irony is that the, all the things that you're wanting from your spouse, you're not going to get by being all uptight and upset and angry and, and demanding, but you might actually get them if you, <laughs> if you just allow them to be who they are and love them, love them up. Well, you're, you're always fascinating. It's always fun to talk to you.